The Boxer twin engine has been an integral part of BMW motorcycles for over 90 years. From their first air-cooled R32 in 1923, the iconic shape of the Boxer twin has become synonymous with BMW motorcycles, even though they also have parallel twins and inline fours. But what does the future hold as BMW moves more towards electric motorbikes? What will happen to that iconic Boxer twin outline? The DC Roadster answers that question. Is it a good answer? Let's find out. Hello and welcome to Moto Chatter, let's dive in. We can see straight away that the BMW DC Roadster is meant to be a serious performance machine. With its forward tilted aggressive stance and low handlebar position, it looks like it's moving when it stood still. The boxer outline and shape is preserved by two structured protruding side elements. Thankfully they are not just some nostalgic decorative add-on either, they are there for cooling just as was the reason for the boxer twin engine configuration on the BMW R32 in 1923. In fact the side elements are the DC Roadster's battery cooling system, which gives authenticity to their design and feature on the bike. And when the bike starts, they move out slightly, giving a visual indication that the bike is live and ready to go. The battery itself is where the engine would be and is mounted vertically and longitudinally and is tilted forward slightly. It is housed in a milled aluminium frame with milled fins all around it that are echoed in the headlights and add to the dynamic look of the bike. The motor is under the battery and is connected directly to the shaft drive. A Shaft drive is another common feature of many BMW models and on the DC Roadster it is open and on display. As is the duo lever fork suspension, another feature well known on BMW motorbikes. These are two other functional features that give the futuristic DC Roadster a link to its petrol engine predecessors. The DC Roadster has all round LED lights with a split tail light and the headlight is designed to give the impression that it is floating out in front of the bike. Where the tank would be, there is a tubular structure which runs down into the seat unit and gives a floating impression of the seat and tail section. There is a small TFT display down inside the tubular structure where the tank would be, but the DC Roadster gives the impression that it is all about the ride and style rather than utility and practicality. Aluminium and carbon fibre are used to keep weight down and in fact the whole design is minimal and looks pared down. Even though it is an electric motorbike, thanks to the open structural design you can see through much of the bike. Which which also adds to the intricacy of the design and keeps your eyes interested from every angle. It really is a great looking motorbike. As all the classic bikes were quite literally an engine with a seat and some wheels attached, the DC Roadster gives the impression of being a big battery with a seat and some wheels attached. It seems like a back to basics design even when it's quite complex at the same time. The result is both striking and very clean. I mean just look at the design of the brake fluid reservoirs for example. The BMW DC Roadster is clearly a design for the future. But as we saw with the BMW CEO 4 City Scooter, that only took a handful of years to arrive on the street, so maybe the DC Roadster is only a few years away from being in production. That surely would not be a bad thing. There are no performance stats for it at the moment as it is still a concept, but it is great to see features like the cylinder head mimicking side elements being incorporated in a functional way. And the fact that the digital motorbike design doesn't hide the mechanical elements like the shaft drive and dual link fork suspension, but puts them on display as a feature is only a good thing too. I like that blend of mechanical and digital. The DC Roadster shows us what we can expect from BMW motorcycles in the next few years, but what about the next 100 years? Click this video to find out by taking a look at BMW's idea of what motorcycles will be like in 2130. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like the video, thank you and make sure you have a great day.